Hello y'all. So today we have a new experiment. So I started with um, beef tallow as usual. And I added onion and garlic. Then I added a pack of ground beef. We have like two, uh, I think they're called bird, bird um, peppers. It's just spicy. We have two of them in here. going to mix it with ground corn. This is, um, let me get the packaging. Okay, this is organic cornmeal from this company I've told you about, Azure Standard. So, look it up. You can buy in bulk and you can find a lot of organic stuff. Okay, so I'm going to wash this several times until the water turns clear. And I'm going to um, I'm going to use my stick blender to blend this. I mean not to blend it, to turn it like finer. Instead of having the meat kind of grainy. I mean, you know, this is a no experiment, so. We learn as we go here. So, in here I have uh, oregano, thyme, onion, fresh onion, fresh garlic, fresh hot pepper, and then um, dry oregano and dry thyme. I am, um, oh, and um, what do you call this? Um, paprika. So, I am. Um, thinking about adding red pepper in here, but not just that. Okay. I used one of these, one of uh, this cup as this mug for one unit of um, cornmeal. I added three units of water. Now, Whenever you're dealing with flour, um, corn, uh, cornmeal, or rice, you don't know how thirsty they are. So you start with a little bit, and then you add liquid, you know? You can add liquid, you cannot take away, usually. So I added three cups, three mugs of filtered water in here. This has salt, I had added salt. So I'm going to use my stick blender and then blend this thing so so the meat can be like instead of grainy like this could be smooth. So when when I add the cornmeal, it would be well. Let's see how it's gonna be because this is a new experiment. <laughs> If I do this again, I would probably use the stick blender directly to the meat instead of adding water first. But you know now, it's uh, time to add, oh, I think I need it, I need to have this boiling first before I add the corn. But I remember, hmm, corn is very, I'm going to add it now. Because when this thing start boiling, it's going to go all over the place. So I'm going to add it when the water is not boiling. And that way it gives it time to kind of get used to this mixture. Okay. 
let's see what we get okay so corn is very thirsty usually i mean look at that one cup of of uh, cornmeal three cups of water and look at that the water is almost I mean, the water is almost gone so i'm going to reduce the fire and i just added more salt and i added ethiopian spiced ghee which is on my channel and now we have to let this cook corn is thirsty it's already drinking all the liquid most likely i'm gonna have to add more water but for now i'm going to cover it because corn is also very talkative it's going to start going boop, 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 all over the place all right i lower the fire to five and i'll let it do its thing okay things are moving along and I have these baby sweet potatoes. Actually, we bought some slips from a friend and all the plants down, uh, died down. So we thought the sweet potatoes were ready, but they're too young. So I'm just gonna, I just peel and wash. So I'm gonna add them here and see how it is. Cause the rest is, look at that. That's what we have. So I, I'm, I'm inclined to just blend them again. All right. So let's see what we have. Oh, they're getting stuck at the bottom. Okay. I think I'm going to lower the fire to four. And see how it just, yeah, the corn is drinking the, the liquid away. And it's already stuck at the bottom. We have things stuck at the bottom. And I'll add a little sweet potato. You can just, you know, while it's doing its thing, it'll cook. Cook the sweet potato. See what I'm talking about? Those pet, 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 pet. Ooh, when they get on you, they burn. Okay. So I'm going to lower the fire to three because I don't want the whole thing to get stuck at the bottom. Okay, you see how it is? Okay. So it was one cup of, it was one mug of uh, cornmeal and three mugs of liquid. Because the liquid could be anything you want it to be. It could be water, it could be chicken broth it could be any broth but since I okay I'm gonna let those surprise sweet potato cook in here I'm gonna lower this to three okay okay here you have it and the surprise what was the surprise the sweet potato cooked that doesn't take long it's just small and here we have it it is soft it is spicy and if if you don't find a couple of small pieces of ground beef you would never know there's a pack of a pound of ground beef in here some aside to try all right have a good evening uh -huh. this is a little ball of uh, sweet put I mean of uh, ground beef that wasn't blended somehow and we have the red sweet potato hmm it's good it's good what a beautiful color and then this 
Mm -hmm. Amazing. If you don't find any little ball of ground beef, you would never know that there is meat in here. Mm. The little two babies, uh, baby, no baby, uh, bird pepper or pepper birds or whatever they call them. Those hot, those hot peppers, bird peppers, I think they call. Mm, 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 mm. Very tasty. Okay, have a good evening.